The Celtics and Pacers met in Bankers Life Fieldhouse Tuesday night, but for many Indiana fans, this wasn't just another in-conference matchup. This was about seeing a familiar face on the big stage. I mean, obviously I'm here for Romeo. Um, I think it's really cool to be able to say that I got to see him in his one year that he spent uh, at Indiana. And then to be able to come see him in his hometown when he gets to come back, I think it's just really cool. I didn't want to miss this opportunity. Yeah, I mean, it feels good. Um, I mean, that's why I went to Indiana because I knew Coach Miller and people there will always have my back. And um, that's what I like about them. Tuesday night was meant to be the big homecoming for Romeo Langford, who played here in Assembly Hall just last season. But it was another former Hoosier and Victor Oladipo who really stole the show. Oladipo dropped 27 points for the Pacers, but it just wasn't enough. Boston pulled out a three-point win, even though Langford struggled overall in his homecoming performance. We need him to guard, and we need him to be able to finish at the rim. He looks young out there. I think we can all agree on that. But he also does some things that make you say, wow, he's got a chance. I think he's going to be a great player in this league. I really do. I mean, he's got great size and feel for the game which is something that you can't teach. Um, he just has to continue to work, continue to get better. And I think he's done that over the course of the year. And I think that's why you see kind of some of that paying off. You no, know, he does a good job. He works his tail off in practice. Um, and he's came up big for us in some games this year. So um, we're, we're going to need him, especially in the playoffs. Boston's win actually clinched a playoff spot for Langford in his debut season. He's averaging just over 10 minutes of playing time per game.